there is a brother there, you are about to marry your housemate. That is the cause of trouble in the house. And you don't know how to go about it. Suddenly you just find yourself like that. Very difficult to explain. So please, your housemate, your wife left everything, everybody say no, no, no. But you, you can't listen well until you decided now. This will lead us to call your wife, to call your family, bring not only getting you delivered, because what is happening to you is purely demon. So please come, come, come. Thank you for coming here today. My name is Chipoladilo Gundele. I'm the one that sleeps with uh, uh, help. Brother, and don't, don't worry. Come on. Ordinarily, you will never do that. There's an attack, very serious attack. And that has destroyed your house. Yes, yes sir. And what, what a house you build. What a wonderful family. It is evil spirits. And for God to bring you here, where? God has put an end to that. I'm going to see you and we bring the family together. You receive your deliverance. Don't worry, I don't want him to talk here. So it's a very painful issue. My name is Chief Oladele Ogundele. I'm from Kwara State. I reside in Abuja. The woman beside me here. She's Mr. Ogundele, and the other boy is Samuel Ogundele, and my first son, and which the other boy is Bolu Ogundele. Two weeks ago, man of God prophesied to me that there's someone that there's somebody that I mean sleep with a house app, which is true. It's me. I stayed in Abuja. I've been in Lagos before. Me and my woman, my first wife. I left them 13 years ago, before I left Lagos. I went to Abuja. Someone now said that I should come. I went there, I see my friend, all of them, they are drinking, and I joined them. When I joined them, someone now called me. Do you want to buy for this boy? I said, yes. He said, ah. This guy has slept with my wife. I said, no, it can't be possible. I left the place. From there, I went home. I called my wife. What happened? She denied, which I left home for 13 years ago. I've traveled to Abuja to go and join, I mean, start another life there. When I get to Abuja, I start, I start another life there, looking for work and things is not moving the way I, would, I, I want. So, there's one church that I went to and I met one lady there where they do deliverance. So we started, they said that we should go for the uh, evangelism. They line a man like this and a woman like this and they pick each one so that one man and one woman for, for the evangelism. So from there, we started dating ourselves. Suddenly, she says she's pregnant. Along the line, there's nothing I can do because I sleep inside the, ch the shop where I'm working in Gariki. So the, the later, the girl now said that we should come and see in family, which I went there. When we get there, Nabi is somebody that I, know, I normally see in the screen, the former minister. I was surprised because she told me in the church that doesn't have anybody, that it's only her. Even when I get to where he's staying, it's just only chair and bed. He just put it there, but he rent a good apartment there. So you were surprised when you went home yes. to her parents and you discovered that her father was a former minister in this country, yes. right? Yes. So suddenly she just come to my, to my where I'm working in Gariki and she give me uh, she just brought a motor car. Where did you see the car? She said, he doesn't have anybody. He said that uh, 
The pastor said that he should keep the car until when he gets married. So she gave me the car because I know how to drive the car. We started cruising. <laughs> from, from, from there, we now went to go and see the family. When we get to the family, and the family said that, okay, this is your husband, and they give us money, one million era, that it should start our life, that it should go and, I mean, go to my family and our whole family to, to prepare for the wedding. So after then, we do the wedding. She now said that she need a house help, that I should give her one, uh, she need a house help, which I went to one village like that. So I brought the uh, house help to the house. Later, I started sleeping with the girl. Which girl are you talking about? The, the house help. And your wife, your wife was not aware? Your Nobody, second wife was not no, aware? No, 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 no. The only thing the guest told me that I, I, I should promise her marriage. Did you promise? Uh, yes, I promised I promise the house help that okay. I'm going to marry her. So, later, the girl left our house. When the problem started coming in the house, I've, I look at it maybe because of what the promise that I promised the girl, that is why I cannot be able to, I mean, the thing is, is rough again. I cannot be able to even see my woman face again in the house. So you mean you started having problem with your second wife now? Yes. So one day, I was in the house. My wife now called me that I should take out the baby, that she's going to somewhere that is coming now. So by this time, she already has a baby for you? Yes, I already have a baby for me. Okay. She just went to police station to go and, to go and bring the police, three police to my house. So the next thing that I will hear, I just hear the cock of gone. Who is that? Who is that? My wife opened the door and said that they should hold me very well, that I can disappear. That is my second wife. So he said I can disappear, that they should hold me very well. I said, okay, but I don't have anything. I'm saying, what, what is the problem? She didn't tell me anything until when I get to police station. But when I get to police station, they, they just put me inside the cell for three days. After three days, the, the one man had come to the uh, police station that they want to pray for us and they, they bring me out. And meanwhile, all, none of my family, they don't want that my, that my woman, that my second woman, it's because she's older than me. They don't want her. Prior to this time, did you have any serious misunderstanding, disagreement, or fight with her before she brought the policemen to arrest you and, and lock you up? No, the only thing is that you say that there's a good in the house that I still the good. So what happened when you got to the station after they locked you up? What happened? Someone called me, which is one of my friends. They come to my to the police station to come and bail me. So from there, they now they said that I should write undertaking that if I see that woman in two, I mean two, twenty meter, I will still run another twenty meter. Which I agree. So that is how we separated since almost 12 years ago now. After that, thing is very rough. Um, there's no work. I, may, I look for work anywhere. There's even when I even get to work, there'll be a problem. So I'm now trying to marry another the third wife. So I said before, I can even do anything. I have to come and pray. So when I get there, the man of God now provides on me that there's a man that sleep with a house help, which is, is me. Actually, if they say it's this my woman here, that I should forgive, I, I don't think I can, I will not come out. But I was somewhere there, so something just pushed me out. I don't even know when I'm, I'm out. Since how many years now you said this incident happened when you left your first wife? 13 years ago. I think it's time we listen to the madam. Good morning. My name is Mary Ogundele. This is my children. This is father of my children. Since 13 years ago now, it's, we, we are not seeing him. Along the line, that time we went to Abuja and I take the two of them to Abuja to go and see him. 
and he shares me away that he no want to see me. So, yeah, I don't know anybody from Abuja, so I look for money to come back for Lagos. And my parents were telling me that I should go and look for another man to marry. Are we, are we going to stay with this? Only me with two children, and their father is no more to see us. And last week, he not told me that a man of God wants to see me. I was shocked that... Uh, uh, more than 13 years, I'm not happy. What is happening? You say nothing. I should come. So, can we just hear a word from your son? Good morning to you all. My okay. name is Samuel Ogundele. And how old are you now? I'm 15 years old. And who is the woman standing beside you? She's my mom. That's my brother. He's my dad. When I was two years old, oh, that time I was in Lagos here, yeah. I would see my mom, she would be shedding tears. I would tell her that, mommy, don't cry. Mommy, what happened? She would see that nothing. So when I was in school, she would take care of me. She would pay my school fees. And when anytime my friends, they would come with their dad, their mom, I would be saying that, ah, I wish my dad is there. Then, I'll, when I come back from school, I'll tell my mom that, Mommy, please, I want to see my daddy. He will say that my daddy, that my daddy is not around, that he went out. And I say, ah, where's my daddy? That I can't find my dad. He will say that, don't worry, you will see your dad. For over, now I'm 15 years old now. And I, what I want God to do is that I want God to use Prophet T.B. Joshua to reconcile my dad and my mom. As at the time your father left your mom, how old was your younger brother? She was pregnant that time. Well, we have listened to you. So, sir, can you tell us, what do you want people to learn from the experience you have had so far? I know I offended my wife so much. I want her to forgive me. So just forgive me. People that you are looking at me now, I know what I did is very wrong. Please, it's not good because I find it difficult to even take care of myself. Anybody that sees me, they will think maybe I'm, I, I, I'm okay. But inside me, I know that I'm not okay. Until when I come to this place, I know that because, because I left them, that is the, the, the cause of my problem. I just want to tell people, anybody that falls into this, this problem, you should just go and reconcile with his wife. Thank you. So, we would like to hear also a word of advice from Madam. Please, what do you want to share with people going by what you have experienced? So, you mean since the past 13 years, your husband abandoned you and the children, you've not remarried? No. So, what do you want people to learn from this? I want to tell people that this situation, to put their mind to God, so God can do anything. So we thank God we have listened to the family. And uh, like the man of God says, the right knowledge of God settles peace. So the end of the matter lies in the hand of God. And in his wisdom, he has solution to all problems. So we leave everything till when the anointed man of God, Prophet T.V. Yeshua, comes into our midst. And we believe God today, we shall know the mind of God concerning this family. Thank you. I offended my wife. Sir. Yeah? I offended my wife. And I leave what her. Some, I leave her some some years ago, sir. Where's where your wife? She's there, sir. As I sleep, I sleep with my uh, with house, my house girl for my, uh, my my wife. Okay, come here, madam. Well, this is your husband. Though. There's nothing you can do about this. Okay, and uh, yes. That is devil for you. He will do everything to scatter the home. 
and you know the period you were away and it's away, you know what you went through. Because that is devil, but the devil is a liar. So that's why I want to meet you people, okay? Thank you, sir. Meet you people. And, uh, she's your mother now. Okay, sir. Mm, there's no way you can define her but mother. Okay, sir. It's your momo. Okay, sir. You hear long, long way? Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, you should be ready to be momo. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are here to thank God for what God has done in our life. After my deliverance, man of God reconciled us and I'm very so happy and right now I'm with my family, with my wife and, with, and my children. We do things together. Thank you, sir. God bless you. My name is Mary Ogundele. This is my husband, Mr. Oladele Ogundele. What's man of God doing in my life? I'm very happy. My husband is back and my children, we are together now. Thank man of God. God will continue to bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, with the support of the Man of TV partners, have decided to give this family the sum of 300,000 Naira cash to support this family to settle down and for the children also to be able to pursue their education. Thank you, man of God. God will continue to bless you, sir, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I have never expected this thing, but thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that we're witnessing is awesome. Uh, it's incredible to see uh, the message that the prophet was showing and giving to everyone and, and the miracles that were being performed. Um, it's just wonderful to see people actually be able to, to receive blessings. Um, it's just an incredible experience. I've never really seen anything like that, especially coming from America, and I'm actually honored to actually witness something like that here. I mean, a man from Africa, uh, what he's done for the world and what he's done at that day for me, I could never say thank you enough to him. Really, thank you very much, man of God. When I got there the Friday, uh, when I went, uh, got to the uh, intensive care unit, there was chaos. They didn't want to allow me to go into the hospital, into the, in the waters, coming back to life. I mean, five minutes ago, the doctor has written off. He said, she must die. There's no future for her. Five minutes later, after I've placed a handkerchief, the Lord has healed her. And I was tapping on, on her arm again and said, please, just open your eyes. And the next moment she opened her eyes. I have been operated two times of a, a kidney cancer. Then I went to the hospital the next day. When I got to the, the when I got to the hospital, because after the after the operation, I, I keep on going because in Japan you keep on follow, you follow up. So when I got there, the next thing the doctor the, after the test, the doctor said, "Look, he's satisfied and said you are free from the uh, you are free from cancer." Oh, put your hands together beautifully for Jesus Christ. I never knew that asthma. In fact, I never knew that because I was told that asthma can never be cured because it's, this is a something. Uh, I mean. It, it, it goes through blood, genetic or something. So, it, by almost, almost like after the death of, because the same asthma that took away my mother's life was this thing was about to take my, take, took, take away my own life and her own life too, because her old, her own was so severe that every month we are in the hospital. Then it was too difficult. It was too much. Which I spent money. I spent everything, but to no avail. I bought. There was a drug. They said, look, this is a drug if, from India. I ordered it. We used it for almost 90 days without no, no oil, nothing, but see it to no avail. So what I did was I called my little brother. He came and I wrote my will. I gave my will to my daughter. I brought out my credit cards, all my passbook, and I gave him. I said, look, I am my leave anytime, any moment from now, I will, I will go and join my, my ancestors. Because there was, no, there was no hope, no more hope. I have lo I've lost all hope. In fact, at the end of the day, I spend money, I spend everything but to no avail. But I tell you, people of God, when we came down here, shishi, no money, nothing, nothing. The, we didn't pay dime. It's just only the touch. It's just only the touch of the man of God and with the minister, and then we continue to minister the, uh, the money water. Before I know it, up to today, my brother, four, it's four years now, we never been to hospital. We never, we never stepped into the hospital. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, we thank God Almighty. Yes, indeed, the miracle worker is still very much alive. 
and his name is Jesus Christ because never a problem he cannot solve never a sickness he cannot heal and never a disease he cannot heal lies began to develop in the Western press about our brother so I felt I should come here the Holy Spirit said come here bring some pastors with you and bring your sons and check it all out because this is a man of God Please subscribe and visit my channel to watch many amazing healings that will blow your mind, give you hope and prepare you for your own healing.